outnumbered on Fox. They they know what their demo is, and there's nothing that older Fox viewers like more than crapping all over uh, millennials. Here is the outnumbered Fox crew responding to a poll that shows that millennials and Gen Z generation, they like prioritizing or they would prefer to prioritize their own personal happiness than be unhappy in a job. This is very offensive to the Fox News crew. All right, a new poll confirming what deep down we knew all along, that millennials and Gen Zers would rather be unemployed than unhappy in a job. According to the study, Gen Z and millennials are putting their happiness at home over their careers, with 56% of Gen Zers saying they would leave their job if it interfered with their personal lives, and 55% of millennials saying the same, and then almost half of them saying they would not accept a job at a company that did not align with their views on social and environmental issues. Hell yeah. My question, Lawrence, is then how are they paying for it? Like, is everything going on credit? Because if they have the luxury of saying no to jobs, no thank you, no thank you, how are they buying their top ramen? Well, my, or their what? avocado toast? Sorry. Either, either, either they're going into debt <laughs> with, with a credit card or the mama and daddies are paying for it. And, and the sad thing is, this, this, this comes back to parenting. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think there was Culture. good intentions from the parents back then that said, I want my child to be just happy. Yeah. Well, there's more to life than happiness. This is why many people are turning away from faith, because they don't believe anything is bigger than themselves. Mm. And my parents didn't play that. They wanted me to be happy, but they didn't care if I shed a few tears. You know, uh, <laughs> we got spankings in our household. They laid down the law, and my dad was on the front row of the basketball games. And if I had a bad game, I know it was going to be a long talk on the way home. Uh-oh. Because it was bigger than happy. He wanted me to be happy with the sport, but he did not tolerate mediocrity. Mm. And I think Appreciate that's it. what the parents are doing today. I think there's dignity in all work. And this idea that you, you know, can't, you, you're better off sitting at home taking a COVID check or, you know, living <laughs> off your parents in your basement and... Not Wait a second. What? Yeah. COVID test is a sign of a real cup. And he wants to come over to my place. We're doing a COVID test party. That's what, We're just hanging out, doing all day, not working. But is she referring to that or stimulus checks? No, she What's said COVID check. She said a COVID check. COVID check. Oh, as, if, yeah. as if those are still going out, as yeah, if they like didn't stop months and oh, months and months I'm and months sorry. ago. I thought okay. I could, right. I, okay, all right, keep gotcha. going. Yeah, keep going. With the sport, but he did not tolerate mediocrity. Mm. And I think Preach that's it. what the parents are doing today. Preach I think there's it, yes. dignity in all work. And this idea that you, you know, in all you, work? you're better off sitting at home, taking a COVID check or, you know, living off your parents in your basement and not being productive than taking a job that actually is providing for you or your family. Um, right. I think this is bad for society. And I think it's going to make a lot of people mentally unhealthy. Uh, I think that, you know, there is dignity in work and all work is good. And we ought to really promote that idea. Not Rage every cock. job Rage is going to be mentality. a dream job. Can't, I, can't, I can't support that. Yeah, we should be, work will make you free, I think is the, what we should yeah. be supporting. Um, that, that, that's do we a wage cuck mentality. I can't, I can't support that. I can't support that. I'm glad people, I'm glad younger people aren't watching Fox. Let's get those numbers up. Let's get that, those numbers from 56 and 55% up to 95 and 96% up. You know? So uh, why does Rachel Campos Duffy not shovel shit for a living? Or does she want to work in like uh, a slaughterhouse? Or does she want to work in, at, I don't know, like an Amazon uh Plan, f fulfillment center yeah, what, in the middle of COVID when there's no protections. All work is good. What's her claim to fame that she was? Uh, it felt icky on Real World about a gay guy with uh, HIV back in the nineties. Like that. Wait, oh, she was on it uh, too with with her husband. Wait, was, so. was that the was one that with? Uh, uh, was that Real World Philadelphia with the uh, Karama from Queer Eye? Oh my God, I need to check this. Um, I, I I don't know this. Um, I honestly didn't even know Karama was a Real World. Yeah, I don't even yeah. know who you're talking about. He was the first gay, black, real world uh, participant in like the in real world Philadelphia. So Rachel Campos Duffy's husband, Sean Duffy, who was a congressman from Wisconsin, from Wisconsin before he retired to go on Fox, he was on the real world uh, Boston. Oh. And then, Yikes. And then Karamo from Queer Eye, I think, was New Orleans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't want to be on real world Boston. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going right. to put that out there. But I mean, you know, all of this stuff is about enforcing like an obvious hierarchy that they have in their head. Like they don't 
want you to feel dignity in your work you know even if your work is i mean especially if your work is as like a server or garbage man they want to feel superior to people who are in those positions and if people refuse to do those jobs especially if millennials and gen z you know refuse to do those jobs in mass it's a rejection of that hierarchy that like you know fox news and you know uh, various republican lawyers are a more worthwhile part of our society than like our baristas or our bakers or whatever which you know they obviously aren't but but it's just, you know, an, a, we've just, as a generation, as the last two generations, we've just like, you know, categorically rejected this idea of that work is inherently tied or rather should be inherently tied to your social status in that way, even if it isn't yeah. tied to your income. Wait, and, and, and it's just like, I mean, the, the reason I gave those examples of those kinds of jobs is just because like, I mean, she, she's, she would be singing a different tune if her conditions were, uh, were terrible and she wasn't getting paid probably six figures or more to be in a cushy studio here in new york to claim that all work is good etc um because what this kind of rhetoric does is it's a way to serve capitalists and bosses that want to justify terrible working conditions for their employees and not pay them more and not pay for their health care and cut corners and um there is more precariousness for a younger generation as gig work and contractor work becomes more prevalent. There is, um, you know, it, it, it is harder to move up a corporate ladder to the same degree as the generation that's probably watching Fox News there. And so what this does is it is a way to indoctrinate their viewers to discipline younger people who are asking for better working conditions and better wages to say, no, your work should be a little bit painful, a little bit to a lot painful. And um, that's why it's totally fine for me to not provide you with fair wages. Yeah. And set the table for all this stuff because the restaurant industry wants Biden to do whatever he can to force people back into, you know, the, their jobs that don't pay living wages. Um, if you look at Rachel Campos Duffy's career, uh, section because you're so focused on careers and you know you got to get out there and start your career if you're 18 to 24. Uh, Campos was this, this is how it starts career the real world San Francisco Campos was on the cast of the real world San Francisco in January 1994 lived in the house on Russian Hill uh, the season was this is 1994 although the castmates were informed ahead of time that they would be living with someone who was HIV positive they were not informed who the housemate would it would be on the cast first night in the house Campos housemate AIDS uh, educator Pedro Zamora informed the housemates that he had AIDS by showing them his scrapbook of his career as an HIV educator Campos felt uncomfortable and initially distanced herself from Zamora stating that she wanted to know his, how his health status would affect her. However, she said nothing to the other housemates for fear uh, of a fear appearing homophobic. And then later they like patched, patched it up. So that's who this person, that's how she was working on her career at that age. And it wasn't, you know, taking whatever job uh, some capitalists wanted in their community for way let, let, um, less money than they would normally want to leave whatever happy lives they have with their friends at that age. And Pedro tragically passed, by the way. So, oh, jeez. Yeah, he... Anyway, someone who watches reality television shows, I think it's rude to imply that someone is someone starting on the real world and ending up on like Fox News is not pulling themselves up by their bootstraps. You know, that's like <laughs> that is a very common common pipeline who, in our media industry. That is ultimate but, rugged who, individualism. It is, who is, you know, who, who, is, who is the most successful real world person who has done the least harm? Like it's got, it's gotta be Mike the Miz, right? I was just gonna On, say uh, Bender the Miz, it's gotta be it's the gotta Miz. It's gotta be the Miz, right? I mean, Karamo, I mean, he's like, I don't know how much harm he's doing. He doesn't really do anything on Queer Eye, but you know, I don't know how much harm he's Wait, there's a guy on Queer Eye that was on Yeah, I didn't know there was a guy on Queer Eye who- I didn't watch the real world. Oh, Karamo, Karamo the, the, like the, the culture guru guy is- yeah. Like, was from the real world. Yeah, I, I'd, yeah, Miz is probably more famous. His, I, don't, I think Karamo's politics are a bit not great in some things I've seen, but uh, it's not Rachel Campbell's stuff. Be bad. You know, I think just those back to the point she was making. It really is all about like enforcing this myth of the meritocracy that allows people at Fox News and various, you know, their various friends to pretend like they've worked hard to pull themselves up to this position, and that you know the real thing that's keeping people down is that they're not willing to work hard enough, even though, you know, 
we've seen time and time again evidence that there really just is a stagnating caste system in this cult society that like you're more or less likely to die in the socioeconomic class that you're born in or fall into a lower one than you are to like actually, you know, reach the millionaire heights that people still pretend like are possible. But unless you keep enforcing this myth of meritocracy, yeah, people might ask for more stuff. They might imply that since we don't have this mobility, we've been promised that we should at least have universal health care. Yep. Really cool. Also, Devin Nunes lost his defamation suit against CNN. Whoa. A socialist bear Rachel Campos Duffy was on Real World San Francisco with Pedro, HIV gay man and puck, crazy San Francisco bike messenger who she had who she effed. <laughs> <laughs> uh.